Sweet, salty, flaky, and packed with umami, I've got three secret tips to make the perfect furakake salmon. Stick around and I'll show you how. Aloha my kako, my name is Rel and welcome to my kitchen where I like to share all my favorite Hawaiian and local recipes. And today I've got a good one for you. We'll be making some furakake salmon, but I've got three secret tips to make the perfect salmon. So let's get started. Obviously you wanna get yourself a good piece of salmon, totally up to you what kind of salmon you wanna get. Whatever is available at the store in your budget works, but get the best high quality that you can afford. So tip number one or secret number one is to let your salmon come Come out of the fridge for like 15 20 minutes before you start cooking that'll allow it to have an even cook time or an even cook all the way through if you take it straight from the fridge right into the oven it can cook unevenly secret number one secret number two get your salmon with skin on so the skin acts like a protective barrier to the hot pan and then let's get started with the sauce so furakake salmon i like to make like a mayo shoyu sauce so we're gonna start with some salt and pepper you're gonna put that over your salmon you're gonna pat it dry i already did that so pat your salmon dry add some salt and pepper over the top and then into the sauce use some mayo whatever brand you like and some shoyu. Shoyu is Japanese style soy sauce. You can get that in the Asian aisle at most grocery stores. You can order online. I have a link below if you want that one. And you'll just mix that up. In Hawaii, like best foods or kewpie mayo is a common one we use. Best foods is like regular mayo. Kewpie is like Japanese style. Up to you, whatever one. Salmon's a good source of protein, good fats. So it's nice to add. Okay. So it's just mixed like that. You're gonna line a baking sheet with some foil. Makes it a lot easier to clean up later. And then you're gonna set your salmon into the center like this. And then your mayo sauce, you're gonna go ahead and spread that over the top. Like so. I kind of use like a pat and push kind of a motion. <laughs> I don't know if that has a, a culinary term, <laughs> but you wanna make it go all the way down the sides. I try not to like spread, like push and spread, cause then you're gonna move all the salt and pepper that you just put on. So like this pat and push kind of motion keeps that in the same spot. Put it over the sides if you want. Preheated the oven, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's ready to go and then you can't have furakake salmon without furakake, right? I'd like to mahalo our sponsor today, Foodland Hawaii, and we're gonna be using their Maikai Organic Nori Furakake. All thoughts and opinions are my own, as always. Furakake is a Japanese condiment often used on fish and rice. It's made with uh, seaweed um, that's toasted, sesame seeds. This one has black and white sesame seeds, and this one does not have MSG, so that's pretty awesome. Okay, so we're gonna take this and we're going to just sprinkle it over the top. The mayo acts like glue so everything sticks real easy just like that. And secret number three is not to overcook salmon. Salmon is a very forgiving fish so you don't want to go too high or too long then it gets like rubbery and not so yummy so 350 or 400 i tend to go four for like eight to 12 minutes you can go 300 for 10 to 15 ish but you kind of just got to check depends how thick it is so we'll go 400 we'll check at 10 and we'll let you know so we'll put this in the oven so I put the salmon in for 12 minutes, so we'll see. It really depends on the thickness. As soon as it's done, I'll bring it out and I'll show you what it looks like. It's a great sound, right? Sometimes you can't really catch it though, because it's not like a ding, ding, ding. But anyway, that means it's done, so let's pull it out. Alrighty, and it looks like this. Normally you can like broil salmon, but for this particular one, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it just because the furakake can burn if you um, broil it. So in order to check if your salmon is done, what I should have did is not put the mayo on the side so you can see the pink becomes an opaque color. It comes goes from like translucent to opaque, but if you can kind of see over here, 
You see how it's a little bit more opaque where there's not any, oh, over here, where there's not any mail. So you can totally check the temperature to see, which for salmon, cooked salmon is 145 degrees Fahrenheit. But the fork technique works really well. So all you have to do is kind of just put your fork in and kind of push it. And if it flakes, I'm trying not to totally break the salmon up, but you see how it's flaky and opaque? That means it's done. That's how you make furakake salmon. If you want to see another seafood recipe, then check out this video here. And until next time, ahui ho!